Alright guys, got a couple of Rough Riders in. Uh, I've had them in a while, but this is the first chance I've had to take a look at them. Uh, first off, the Tadpole. Little tiny Tadpole here. There's the number on it. RR2313. Let's take a look at the little thing. I first saw this on uh, Big Red ZDC. YouTube channel and uh, I thought I gotta get one just <laughs> it just looks it made me laugh it looks like a bit of fun so here it is and on Big Red's channel they nicknamed this the Angry Watermelon which, which is a perfect name for it I think it looks just like a watermelon doesn't it all right so it's a little flipper uh, G10 handles or scales and they look pretty Decent actually. It looks like it's got T6 screws. Let's just check it quickly. Yeah, T6. And all right, let's fire it open. <laughs> that does make me laugh. It's got a little one and a half inch stainless clip point blade, which is blacked out here. And it's overall, I think it's about three and a half inches. Yeah, three and a half inches. One and a half inch blade, two inches closed, and it's spring assist. And you can feel that spring there. Boing. Yeah, spring assist opening. It opens at a quite a red of knots. <laughs> there you go. Also has a brass lanyard hole there. You can see it running through. Stainless liners and blade centering. Pretty good, pretty good blade centering there. Yeah, bit of fun. Fun little knife. Where uh, I shall keep it in my work jeans in the fifth pocket now and then when I take it out. I see a little little uh, nick in the blade there might just be a one-off or maybe it hits something I'm not sure what would it hit looks like it would hit uh, if anything the brass lanyard tube where that is but I don't know um, let's see how sharp it is let's grab a twig a bit of pine here yeah cuts the pine pretty good Yeah, nice, fun little knife. I shall uh, put a real razor sharp edge on there, so I'll. It's just a slightest nick in there. I could just see it in the change of the light. Just catch it on my nail. But uh, yeah, no biggie. So it's got rough rider on the blade there, and on the other side here, tiny, tiny letters. It's got the model number and China written under that. Looks like stainless bolsters. Yeah, nice little bit of fun. All right, let's check out the other one. All right, there's a big box for a little knife. Black acrylic handles with genuine copper swirls. And this is model number Double R two zero six two. Let's open it up. Magnetic box, quite a big box for a little knife. Now I've been after one of these for a for a good while. The uh, the cub. And this is the copper swirl one. It's got nice copper bolsters there. Copper liners. It's a lock back. But, uh, look at that swirl pattern there. It's got a 440 razor sharp steel for the blade. Some nice copper swirl pattern on the back here. On this side, it's not got much pattern, but these are all they're all going to be different. I kind of like how it's got that bit of copper there and. 
the rest is more or less plain and I can see copper on the underside let's open up the little blade locks into position there quite nicely just over one and a half inch blade yeah, it's got about a Uh, just short of one and a half inch cutting edge. It's got a little finger choil area here. and I've got extra large hands and I'm picking the smallest knives. Let's just see how it is for cutting. Oh yeah, that, that feels pretty damn sharp, this one. Yeah, take big chunks. Big chunks. <laughs> but that finger choil there makes this a really usable knife. That's pretty nice. Let's see how the lock back is. I first saw these knives, it was on William's channel, William's Knife Life, and one of his bit him. <laughs> he got bit pretty bad by one of his. It, uh, I don't know if he caught that on video, but he did mention it. He shows the scar every now and then. Anyway, pretty, pretty neat little knife there. Pretty clean inside. Yeah, good, good looking little knife. I like it. I like them both. Similar size. So both of these will fit in the fifth pocket of your jeans real easy. But the water metal gets lost in there. And there's something else in there. What the hell is that? <laughs> Bit of junk. <laughs> what else? Ah, a swivel. <laughs> when I went fishing. All right, the other one. Yeah, the cub. Yeah, it goes in there easy. Great knives for the fifth pocket. And I gotta say, fit and finish on these is really. It is really pretty damn good. I think this is my favourite out of the two because my finger slots in there nicely. But the Angry Watermelon is just a fun little flipper. So I don't know. I like them both. I, reckon, I, re I recommend them both. Uh, Alright. I've got a few more of these coming for to give as gifts to people that I know that aren't into knives. But uh, you never know. I convert them because it is fun, isn't it? Fun little thing. So is this too. Yeah, I ideal gifts for people that may not necessarily be into knives, but uh, they're non-threatening. They're really just fun little knives. This one is extra smiley but uh, this one really is a good little working knife. Alright, catch you later guys.